but peep the shit, bruh. Hey guys, I know it's been a really long time, but I thought I would go ahead and show you what I got on this recent haul of mine, talk you through a little bit of what's been going on in my life these past couple days, weeks, months, it's been a year. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to get into was Bath & Body Works candles. I have a little obsession with them, but that's okay. No one can ever have enough of this shit, right? So the first one that I've got up here is Leaves. Super bomb smelling. I mean, honestly, all the candles that I bought are super bomb smelling. I have it in my living room. I haven't burnt it yet. This is a thing. I buy candles and then I'm afraid to burn them. I just like open the lid and I smell them all the time. And then I get super sad when I light it because I don't want to go out and like buy more. I know that I'm just going to end up buying like six more candles, but oh well, it happens. Second one that I got is Marshmallow Fireside. Just delish. If you like kind of subtle smells, this is gonna be the one for you. It's not too strong. It has like a tad bit of a cologne smell to it, but not that kind of scent that's gonna give you a headache. It's just nice and subtle. Has a really good smell for your home. Oh my God, guys. So this one, Champagne Toast. This is my favorite. This is my favorite candle ever. I want to say I got hooked on it like three years ago and anytime I walk in there if they have it I buy it this is my go-to candle every fucking time the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow I'm gonna be honest um, I bought this one not really for the smell but just because I thought the design was super cute <laughs> it doesn't smell bad it's got like a light uh, like kind of like a light Swedish scent to it. It's not too strong either. All the candles that I bought this time around are super light smelling. I usually go for things that are really sweet, but this one is not a bad scent. I really like it. I really like the design. This one just honestly reminded me of a churro, so I bought it. And last but not least, Bourbon Maple. This bad boy right here smells like the inside of a barrel like I know that sounds weird but kind of like a yeah like a fucking like a barrel I don't know this is the first time I've gone for a scent like this and maybe I'm bad at explaining the way that things smell but it smells like a wooden barrel so go ahead and buy it it's pretty dank like I said you can't have too many candles we're moving on so I actually thought that this was super freaking cool um, I love oatmeal cookies I hate that every oatmeal cookie you come across has a raisin in it or some other cranberry something is in it there's never just plain oatmeal cookies I happen to make my way over to world market and wha-bam check it out it's pumpkin filled oatmeal cookies they're so delicious they're like three bucks it's the first time that I've had them and I'm freaking obsessed. They're so delicious. If you guys like oatmeal but you always hate the fact that there's like raisins or other nasty shit in it, go to the World Market, get some of these cookies. You won't regret it. Uh, the next couple things I got was just going to be for um, my home. I went ahead and stopped at Target and these are some of those products that every time I went, I stared at it. I have this habit of walking into the store and just like window shopping and telling myself, you're going to buy this. You're going to get it one day. You're gonna just like, don't get it today, get it the next time you come in. And I'm telling you for like the past year and a half, I have passed by these items every single time, not picked it up, and I finally did it. Bam, wine rack. It's super, super simple, but every time I pass by it, I just knew like this has to be in my kitchen. And I love Stella Rose wine, and I just envisioned it already just being there. So I finally bought it, I'm in love with it. This I just thought was really cute to put in my kitchen, just to put like, you know, your spatula, spoon, things like that. And I just thought it was super cute because it had the little writing on it. My home is finally starting to come together. Uh, your girl got a raise, I know, amazing. And so I just started buying a lot more little things for the house. I finally have a coffee table and I always wanted to get one of those little trays that you put on the side and just kind of fill with like a candle and a little plant and stuff. Let me show you. This thing is pretty heavy. 
It's marble, it's super cute. It's just like a little tray that you would put on top of the coffee table. And let me kind of show you how I would put it together. This is pretty much the setup that I have. I have these like really cute little wooden coasters that my mom got me. I went ahead and put a candle there on the side and then a cute little plant that's fake of course because I can't keep shit alive for the life of me. This one I'm actually super excited about. I got it a little while back, but it's a Himalayan salt rock and I've wanted this thing for like as long as I can remember. It's super pretty. When you turn the light on, it turns this like really nice orangey color. It gets really hot though, I'm holding it right now. It was on a little while ago, it's pretty warm. But it's supposed to emit good energy and it just really pulls everything in my living room together. I'm hoping to get a couple picture frames up. There's still a little more that I wanna do in that living room area and then hopefully do a little home tour. I also wanted to show you guys this really pretty lip color that I got. Well, bam that's what she looks like. It's called Plum Bum. I like it so far, it's a little tacky on the lips, and I had a really hard time getting it off. I did swatch it on the back of my hand, and I scrubbed it with all kinds of soap and just like regular water, a little towel, and that would not come off. I was a little freaked out at first, but I ended up getting it off, so I'm a little worried about how hard it's gonna be to get it off my lips because I had such a hard time on the back of my hand, but you know, it won't sound forever, I hope. Last thing I wanted to show you guys was my dope ass iPad Pro. So this is honestly it's the only reason that I'm getting back into making YouTube videos. A year ago life just happened and uh, we didn't have a computer to edit videos on anymore which was unfortunate because we had so much content, um, lookbooks, just other makeup videos, vlogs, so many things that I was ready to put out and just wasn't able to. Fortunately it's still saved on a hard drive so I'm hoping to get that edited and post it up following weeks to come. But that's pretty much what, what happened. Um, I didn't stop recording or making videos because I necessarily wanted to. There just was no way to get it edited. But now that we got this bad boy right here, you can start doing this again. But that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you a quick haul of all the crap that I bought. Let you guys know why I wasn't recording. But like I said, I'm going to start releasing a lot of content. Thanks a lot for being patient with me. There's so much stuff that I want to release, especially with the holidays coming up. We've got... October, which is my favorite month, so I'm hoping to do a lot of videos with just like costumes and makeup, stuff like that. I'm actually going to be doing a video on this look here. Hopefully pretty soon get that edited and posted up for you guys. But thanks for hanging out with me for a little, um, getting updated on what's been going on, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!